let's take a closer look. Hi everybody, welcome to the world of Mike. I am here today at Disney's Pop Century Resort. I wanted to let you guys tag along with me and take an in-depth look at everything that the Pop Century Resort here at the Walt Disney World Resort has to offer. So if you're up for it, let's travel from 1950 all the way up to the 1990s and take a closer look here at Disney's Pop Century Resort. It's so cool to walk out here on this grass and look at this sign. I love that sign. It's amazing. And interestingly enough, when Abby and I first started vacationing together, this was the first resort we ever went to. Yep. So it has a little special place in our heart. And right up here is where the Disney Magical Express drops you off. But I love that they have these gigantic suitcases just sitting out here. The theming already starts where the Magical Express drops you off. You gotta love it. And look at this golf cart. Talk about riding in style. This is something I would love to have. And here we go. Let's take a closer look inside the resort. One of my favorite things is here on the walls. They have things from the past all over it. Look at this old school Disneyland merchandise with Walt up there and the Mickey Mouse Club. I should have been born back then because I love this stuff. Look at this old school monorail game. I would love to play that. And some Beach Boys. I actually have that record right there. Surfer Girl. And we're getting into the 60s here, but look at this. Universal character right there. The creature from the Black Lagoon. And we're in the 70s now. Gotta love that Sesame Street stuff. And look at this opening day Magic Kingdom Life magazine. I would love to get my hands on one of those. I have that matchbook right there it says magic kingdom on it as well as that doggy bag right there and i have some disneyland books but i do not have the magic kingdom walt disney world ticket books i would love to get my hands on some of those as well and we made our way to one of my favorite decades the 80s got some raiders of the lost art some superman and et everything on the wall is very interesting i just have one question where's the beef if i was doing videos back in the 80s i would definitely use the sony handycam now this right here was my childhood the 90s i think i had pretty much everything in here maybe not this sweet valley twins book but everything else i'm pretty sure i had each desk has a different decade with photos that represent that decade behind it and now it's time to venture out into the pop century resort when you walk out you're immediately in the 1960s area but let's go to the right and start in the 50s just notice that's interesting on the buildings they had the transistor radios but those little records over there are actual songs and bands from the 1950s and right in front of me is one of my all-time favorite things that the pop century resort as well as the art of animation resort have to offer they have these large statues of Disney characters. And there's the lady herself. She looks like she's kind of judging me right now though. And Abby just pointed this out. This is actually the doghouse, but you gotta remember we're that size compared to Lady. So we're basically like ants compared to her. So she would go right there and sleep in that little bed. And directly across from Lady is the tramp. Hey buddy. And when you walk into the pool, look at this. You're on a large bowling alley and here's the bowling balls and this entire pool is in the shape of a bowling pin and i love straight ahead there's an old jukebox and the staircase is also a giant bowling pin and now we're making our way to the 1960s area and we're greeted with this large duncan yo-yo i remember when yo-yos were huge maybe not that big but you know what i'm saying something i always find funny and interesting at the same time the pool over here in the 1960s area is actually called the hippy dippy pool that's far out dude and as you guys can tell the weather's pretty bad today so there's no one in the pool right now because there's lightning in the area but that means i can show you guys exactly what this pool looks like if you look in the distance you see those flowers right there that is exactly what this pool is the shape of you guys dig it and as you leave this pool you're greeted by a huge tub of play-doh man that is so much play-doh i wonder exactly how much play-doh is in this large tub and today i was feeling the bare necessities which is why i wore my jungle book shirt and i'm so thankful that baloo and mowgli decided to show up too look how large baloo is my gosh i mean even compared to mowgli these guys are massive and right as you enter the 1970s you're greeted with these huge 
eight track. And on the side of the buildings here, they have mood rings and some platform shoes. And you can even walk out on this massive foosball table. It's pretty cool to be able to walk out on something like this and see what it's like to be this size in the game. And here he is, folks, the one that started it all, Mr. Mickey Mouse, on one of the most famous phones of all time. You can still find these phones inside guest relations throughout the Disney Resort. They used to be in all the rooms at the Contemporary Resort. And it seems to me like answering a call from a phone that Mickey Mouse is holding would just make it better. I've always wanted one of these. And directly across from Mickey Mouse is the big wheel. And I mean, this is a very, very big wheel. I had a big wheel when I was a kid. Mine was Batman, but I do remember these basic big, big wheels, especially the handbrake right here. If you get this sucker going really fast down a hill and pull that back immediately, you are gonna do some awesome hydroplaning. And you can walk up here and they have Twister. You can play Twister out here with some friends. And here's the little spinny thing. My right hand would be on red and green. And seeing that green and red are that far apart, I don't think I could do it. And that's that for the 70s. And right over here is Hourglass Lake that leads to Disney's Art of Animation. But as you're walking towards it, they have these little signs posted all the way down the walkway that give you little facts from different decades. Like right here, 1983, the last episode of MASH draws the largest audience for a single TV show, 125 million viewers. And as we make our way into one of my favorite decades, we're greeted by this giant Rubik's Cube. It almost looks like it could fit in the palm of my hand from this angle. And I'm walking on this massive keyboard right here. Look at that compared to my hand. And straight ahead of me is one of my all-time favorite Disney characters, Mr. Roger Rabbit. I love the fact that he's standing on some turpentine, but also the fact that there's Toontown right behind him. And you gotta love how the Toontown buildings look like faces. I also love that there's the Pac-Man ghost on the side of the buildings here, as well as Pac-Man himself. And this right here just makes me feel a little old. The 90s, classic. When did the 90s become classic? The 90s were only like, what, a couple of years ago, right? And right here is this large computer. But if you look right over here, check that out says Disney's MGM Studios. And Abby just pointed out that that's the 25th anniversary castle. And look right next to it is the old test track. And right up here on this little browser window, they're talking about Disney's Animal Kingdom opening today on the old abcnews.com. And I found a little hidden Mickey. And look at this large stack of floppy disk right over here. I remember having a ton of those as a kid, as well as CDs and some rollerblades just like that. And right over here in the 90s section, they have a giant cell phone. I remember when cell phones looked just like that. Check out that number right there. If you know what that number is, comment below and let me know. I know what it is. I'm just curious if you guys know. And don't Google it. Let's check out the shopping and dining area. And they even have Pop Century specific merchandise. Look at all this stuff. Abby, do we have this? We have this. We have that. We have this. That's so cool. Yep. And now we're gonna get some food. And you can still get breakfast at this time. It's around six o'clock and they're still serving breakfast. And this you can only get here at the Pop Century Resort. It's tie-dyed cheesecake. And it's $4.29. And Abby always goes with her classic favorite, worms and dirt. Oh yeah. And we also have these little whoopie pies. They have a red velvet, a black and tan, a chocolate whoopie, and this one right here, the king. It's peanut butter and banana, it has bacon on top. It's it's like it was made for me, but it, in actuality it was made in honor of Elvis. And then they have the Oreo cupcake. And we decided to eat while we were here. I got the salmon burger with bacon. It has like a lemon aioli sauce on it and some fries. And they gave me a pretty good bit of fries. And Abby got the salmon, some kind of vegetable thing melody. over here, like a melody and mashed potatoes and gravy, as well as the good old fashioned dirt and worms. So thanks for watching and thanks for taking a closer look with me at the Disney Pop Century Resort here at the Walt Disney World Resort. I had a lot of fun walking around through the 50s all the way up to the 90s with you guys and I hope you guys had fun too. Be sure to visit my website worldofmica.com and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos youtube.com slash worldofmica. Until next time everybody, stay weird. Goodbye.